Nuts at Mach Club. One body, one mind, one spirit, all working together, all moving forward together, not leaving nobody behind. I am Sitaluk Mana of Kolshima, Mana of Solakhya. My friends and relatives all know me as Rick. I am Kawitsun. Very powerful and uh, well constructed piece about um, First Nations people and um, Indigenous peoples, and I believe British Columbia. I hope I'm correct about that. What I thought was great about this piece was that it was um, very grounded and humanizing um, in terms of uh, the Indigenous people in particular, and Brother Rick being used as um, sort of a guide to understanding how these people were forced um, to integrate in a way that um, erased their history and sort of. Um, undermined their culture and uh, created a generation and multiple generations of of people who were um rife with trauma and who had a, um a lot of um sort of emotional and spiritual turmoil uh given what has gone on with um sort of uh indigenous people being moved out of their homes and moved out of um their spaces to uh, accommodate what has become sort of a western culture in modern culture and i felt like this was a great piece to show that these people exist um, in real life right now they're um in the school system right now and then there is a a pressure and a responsibility for the people involved to sort of not repeat the mistakes of those in the past and just sort of uh, reintegrate this history um, into the curriculum and into the community. And I felt like this piece uh, showed a, a very um, sort of compassionate and um, uh, open heartedness um, to the issue that I think is um, very um, dark and um, violent. So people want to ignore it and not sort of interact with it. And I felt like this piece um, gave a good way to sort of show how important it was for um, young people in particular to be aware of this information for First Nations people in particular to understand where they come from, what happened with them, with their um, gen their ancestors and generationals generational people before them and how it can affect them today and help them move towards the future. So I feel like this was um, a very um, relevant piece that um, covered a lot of topics in terms of how um, humanity and cultures writ large have dealt with um, indigenous cultures. So um, I feel like it was done with a lot of respect. And I really liked how uh, the First Nation teachings were brought into the classroom. Um, I know me personally, I don't know much about the indigenous culture outside of what we learn in history class, which isn't always the best representation because it's more focused on the colonialism or the conquering of the tribes versus their actual history. And I think that that would have been something very beneficial to have in my um, own education. Um, I love how it encourages indigenous pride as well. Uh, it encourages students to, to represent themselves as indigenous. It gives them a sense of understanding of the culture um, and you have this representative, you know, who approaches the students as brother, um, as brother Rick does to give them a sense of, you know, connection to a culture that they may have not been familiar with. Um, and I, I do love how this school system has incorporated it in, in their celebrations and within the curriculum. And there are so many aspects to indigenous culture is specifically in terms of how they relate to nature that can be beneficial in the teaching, um, but it's even better to have it teaching from a specific point of view from that culture. Watching Brother Rick was so inspiring and I think a really important film, especially in light of all of the graves that were found um, in BC of residential school children. Um, it's really wonderful to see that schools are taking indigenous education seriously um, and really doing it in a meaningful and impactful way by bringing in members of the community and um, involving the, the children in a way that makes them feel like they're all part of this together and they can be part of the solution as well. Um, it seems like it's made such a wonderful, positive impact on the school and on the children. And I think that's really the key to um, unlearning some problematic or racist beliefs that people hold. Um, but also when you feel connected to it and when you get to see members of the community, like the principal was mentioning, it's not some far away issue. It's not some distant group. They're, they're people who are in your community right now. Um, people who are your friends and, um, yeah, I think making those connections is really what makes all of the difference and, and helps 
people and these kids feel compassion and feel like they are part of it and they and, and inspiring them to want to do something and make positive change and children are our future. So I think that this work is so, so important. And it was just wonderful to see the kids um, really appreciating and respecting Brother Rick and the messages that he was bringing um, and all of the things that he was teaching him. I think these kids um, are so lucky and fortunate. The Indigenous discrimination in Sydney, one of the things that I really appreciated was the message. Uh, I loved the message of the only way to solve the root of these problems is through education. I personally believe you become part of who you are uh, through parts nature, parts nurture. And our relationships that we have day to day, I believe a big part of it comes from the nurture element of things. Uh, we treat others based off of the context that we've learned. Um, so if you catch the problem by the beginning and you teach the younger generations about uh, different cultures, different ethnicities, it can help tackle the problem that comes in the form of discrimination uh, because one of the biggest causes of discrimination is that fear due to that ignorance. Uh, we are afraid of what we don't know. The person of Brother Rick, I was just uh, really happy to get to know him, to see the great work he's doing. I love that he um, works uh, around the kids and calls them brother and sister and um, you know and there's a, this assumption of equality and you know that's kind of the point of this entire school and and um, this whole paradigm on education is an assumption of equality whereas in the past this people have been discriminated against and treated as lesser than and uh, sent off to schools to be you know quote unquote reformed um, now they're you know, taking it back and, you know, putting forth this assumption of equality that, you know, we are equal and uh, we all are equal. Um, a healthy mindset, you know, for functioning in society. And um, yeah, and the film was just wonderfully made. It was, uh, you know, it was it was very quick paced and um, to the points and A, B and C right through the whole thing. We understood what was going on. Um, it was wonderfully edited, wonderful use of music, wonderful, uh, wonderfully shot, um, you know, and, and everybody that appeared on camera in the interviews was just so natural and, and, and so, so good at conveying the story, which indicates a great director of this documentary. Really beautiful visuals of Vancouver and um, the schools and all. And also I loved the interviews with the community members, hearing Brother Rick talk from his own perspective. Um, and all just the stories that were shared. It was like a really great um, piece. And I think it also uh, has really great inspiration for incorporating more Indigenous knowledge and um, removing barriers to inclusion um, in the school system. And I, I think it's really cool how they managed to do that in that school system. And I think it's a great watch for anyone interested um, in the topic anywhere. He brings about a lot of important knowledge that should actually be implemented in schools in both the United States and Canada or any nation that might have First Nations or Indigenous people so that we could learn about their culture and begin working together to make a better future. It's the people who are here long before us and their cultures definitely know more about this planet than we do and if we'd listen to them we might be further along. He is a very interesting figure, Brother Rick is. Which makes me wonder, were the filmmakers his students? How did they come learn about him? It's um to tell his story. It's definitely something that should be that be explored. And what we're wondering about, the takeaway about the film is there was one second where it says it wasn't rendered across the sp across the screen to analyze it. Um, but. That's just a little mistake. But the rest of the film, it does tell important knowledge and why we should listen to our elders.